Hello there and welcome to Love Audio's YouTube channel. My name is Paul Weber. Good to have you here this evening, this afternoon, this morning, wherever you're listening from. Uh, then do, of course, let us know in the comments where you're from. So what is Love Audio all about? Uh, Love Audio basically is a safe, fun, friendly and hopefully entertaining platform where you can learn the basics in audio production. So if you guys are on board with that, then let's get cracking. <laughs> An interesting visit to my store here. Um, somebody came in and um, and bought a couple of cables, um, pretty much like this, really. So this is um, an XLR male to female uh, lead. It's a two meter lead there. I sell them in 1.5 or five meter or 10 meter, 20 meter, that kind of thing. Uh, and so they bought one of these or two of these rather, and said they needed to go from um, like a, a, an amplifier system to a mixing desk or something like that, back and forth. I can't remember which way around it was, but certainly they were looking for um, for leads. So I managed to sell them some leads and they went away and they came back uh, a day later and said, um, it won't fit in the socket. And I'm thinking, well, I'm sure you said it was this particular socket or plug that you needed, like the XLR. Um, and, um, and so, Luckily, I was able to show him the back of my mixer where these plug in uh, and said, does it look anything like that? And he said, well, I've got it on my phone. Let me take a look. So he, he showed me the picture of the back of this particular mixer um, and everything else. And, and I said, well, I said, I think you're trying to plug it into a speak on connector instead of an XLR. And he said, what do you mean? I said, well, um, let me give you some examples. So. I kind of showed him a little bit around what, you know, what a speak on socket looked like and what an XLR socket looked like, what a combi XLR and jack plug socket looks like. And I'm going to go over some of those tonight with you and show you some of those, because I think there's a lot of confusion sometimes about, you know, buying the right leads and buying the right um, equipment with the right kind of leads and sockets and stuff on the back of them. Right. This is um, it's coming directly from my phone. Uh, and I'm, I've got it to the back of the um, uh, the lavalier mic um, uh, combi kind of. This is the the controller for it. So if I turn that round, you'll see that AKG. So that's the front of it. It's the Perception Wireless 45 setup. And very simply on the back, it's got an on-off switch uh, on the front rather. It's got an on-off switch, a volume control, and uh, something where you can change the channel on that side there. But if you look at the back, that very simply has a couple of sockets there for you. So. Uh, you've got an unbalanced jack socket just there, okay? Uh, that's to that side there. So that's a that's a jack socket. It's a quarter inch jack socket. It's going to be mono because it's a microphone setup. So it's going to be a mono jack there, and that's a standard XLR plug. So you'd plug a female plug into that. Does, does that make sense? So uh, for instance, a um, one of these, for instance. OK, now this is a this is a female XLR plug. OK, so that would very simply plug into there. It can only go one way. And you'll notice that um, on there, there's a little notch just on the on the side there of that particular socket. Have a look at that when it focuses. Come on, focus for me. Focus on me. Focus on me. <laughs> Come on, you know you want to. Focus. There you go. OK, so you'll notice that there's a tiny little notch just there. And, and that is so that you line up these pins with the holes in this particular socket. OK, there's only one way it can go in. And you'll notice on the plug itself, there's a little notch there, a little groove. And that goes into that particular groove there. So there's only one way you can go and get it to sit like that. So that's how um, that's how your female plug would fit into that male socket. Now that's not always the case on some things. You might have, for instance, male, or it's rather a female socket on the back of one of these, okay? Rather than that. So what happens then is that um, you get a different set of, of, of plugs and sockets. And what I wanted to do was to show you, I've put together kind of uh, the sort of things that you can expect to find. So uh, what we were talking about with that chap's um, plug is um, a, a speak on connector. Now that, that, that one on the top left hand side of the, of the screen there is a speak on plug, okay? Um, and the speak on socket they kind of lock together and that sliding, that, that silver slidey thing at the top actually locks the speak on plug in place when it's in the speak on socket. Okay. Just below that, you've got RCA 
plugs and sockets. So RCA are the um, what we call phono jacks. So that would be your left and right phono, and you can see there's a couple of sockets there as well. And then if you look at the right hand side, the one, two, three, four, five, six, box six, if you like, on the right hand side, those are RCA sockets. There's a bank there of six, so they'll be left and right. So you've got three pairs really. Uh, of red and white. Generally they're red and white. If they're any different colors, then it might be for video output as well. There might be a yellow one, for instance, that kind of thing. Um, the top left, or the middle left rather, the top middle, <laughs> top middle is a mono jack. Okay, that's a mono quarter inch or TRS jack. Uh, so that's that one there. Just below that, you'll find the XLR plug and socket. So that would be like a lead, that would be a microphone lead, for instance. So one would go in the back of the mixer and the other would go into the underneath of the microphone, okay? Now on the top left hand, sorry, the top right hand side, this is the interesting one, okay? Now this is what's called a combo socket, all right? Now what this does is it accepts not only jack plugs, you can plug a jack, a quarter inch jack, right into the middle of that thing, but it will also accept an XLR plug as well which is brilliant because that saves a lot of aggravation uh, you know, when you're looking to, to, to wire up things. If it's got one of those sockets on the back, you're pretty much covered either a jack plug or an XLR plug, okay? Down at the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see that this is an XLR, standard XLR female socket. So the male plug would literally plug into that. And you'll notice that there's a little push thing at the top. That enables you to release the plug once you're ready to pull that out of there. So, um, so I hope that helps. On the right hand side, finally, on this, excuse me, on this particular diagram, you've got a stereo jack. Now you'll notice in the middle top, the, uh, the mono jack has only got one uh, line around it, okay? You always know that you're dealing with a stereo jack when there are two lines. So there's one very near the tip, and then there's one further down. Now those are separated inside the plug, because then you've got your left and right for the stereo signal, okay? Um, so I hope that makes sense. I know that there are some kind of confusing issues about, you know, what, uh, what plugs and sockets you've got on your equipment. This is just a cross section of, of some of the main ones, really. And, and you know, I've, I've, um, I've got close-ups of this. So that, for instance, is the Speakon plug that I was talking about. So that would go into a very similar Speakon socket. And you actually put it in and then twist it. And that silver thing at the top there locks in place and it stops the speaker cable from being pulled out accidentally, which is really good. Okay, uh, what else can I show you? So this is the uh, combi socket that I was talking about. So you'll notice that they're numbered one, two and three. Now those are the pins of the XLR plug that you would put in there. Okay, which is really cool. The outside of the pin uh, outside of the plug rather, goes around the outside of that. And then inside, where the circular bit in the center of that is, that's where you'd put a jack plug, a quarter inch jack plug, or a TRS plug as we sometimes call it, okay? So, um, and that's an example of a socket. And again, it's got that push button thing at the top, and that helps you to release the plug once you're ready to take it out of its socket. Because if you try and pull it out otherwise, there's a good chance that you could damage the... Um, cable by doing so okay so just be aware of that now this one here is the standard xlr plug or socket rather i should say um, which is cool that there is the stereo jack plug that we were talking about and then of course here's that mono version as well all right these are the R rca plugs and you'll notice this is a particular cable that's got a socket on it as well so this would be kind of useful for extending um, an rca um, plug arrangement, okay? So you, you'd kind of use that as a, a kind of stop gap and you'd extend the cable for, for a little bit, if you wanted to, that is, of course. And then here, this is a bank of three RCA sockets. So you've got left and right. Red would be right. Makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Red, right. Uh, and then the white would be left. Um, I did a, I'll make an example of here. So this is the this is a, a, a better quality than, than the one I showed you on the screen just then. Um, so instead of that, you've got this kind of thing going on, which is, um, if it was focused, there we go. So you've got red and black in this occasion, but it's, it's equally the same. It doesn't really matter what color it goes in. 
Having said that, this would be your, let's have a look here, the red one would be your right um, socket or plug, and then that will be your left. And then this actually is a different cable altogether. This will go to a quarter, uh, like a, a mini jack, okay? You see that? And again, that's a stereo, because obviously you're going from a left and a right to a, just a single pin. Having said that, this is a stereo plug, okay? Pretty cool. So that's that. Um, going back to these, of course, we're talking about the XLR, uh, and of course, that's the male and female in a combination there in a cable. That's a two meter cable. Um, and then you've got something a little more heavy duty, so I'll take this out of the bag, you can take a better look. So here you've got um, quite good quality, actually, to be fair. And these are made by Pulse. And um, there you've got the, the female socket, of course. And again, it's got that little kind of a spring thing on the top, so that enables you to put it into the, um, the socket without damaging the plug. And then when you're ready to release it, don't pull it out by the cable, press the button and then pull the plug out, because otherwise there's a good chance you could damage the cable. Equally with this one, what you'll see is, this is the male XLR, three points, so three pins on there of course, and you'll notice that there's a kind of notch out of the top there, that again would lock into the socket to stop it falling out. And then when you're ready to release that, you would push the button on the socket to release that plug uh, from the plug itself rather than trying to yank the cable out. Otherwise, you, you could damage the cable by doing so. So yeah, tons of cables. We've also got some um, uh, jack to jack cables here. Now, if I just squeeze that out of there, you'll notice that this particular one is, is quite a robust mono um, quarter inch jack on that end, and then on this end you've got, again, a quarter inch jack, but it's a right angle jack. Now these are really useful for guitarists um, who don't want to yank the cable out if they're playing the guitar and the cable is plugged into the top of the guitar. They don't want to accidentally catch it and maybe damage the cable in that respect or even pull it out while they're performing. So these right angle jacks are really useful for that kind of thing. Okay, Pretty good. And it's a reasonable quality as well. Um, these are made by Cord. Uh, they've got a, a limited lifetime warranty on them as well, which is cool. And this is a three meter guitar cable. Um, I've got them in various lengths uh, in the shop here. But um, I thought I'd show you these tonight to give you a good example of, uh, you know, the sort of things that you can, uh, when you're looking to kind of wire things up, really, you know, there's, there's plenty to kind of look at. I'm just going to wander over here because on the back of my speakers here, you'll notice that this, is a combination jack, okay, just there. So you've got the, the um, you've got the quarter inch jack, which could go in the center of that one, but also that would take an XLR plug as well. And there's a, an alternative XLR plug, um, or male socket, if you will, okay? There's two lots of those. This is on the sub, sub basis, the Electro Voice uh, ELX 200. So yeah, back on camera, here we go. Uh, let's put that down there. That's the entrance to the shop, by the way, just over there. Uh, these blue panels, by the way, are soundproof, not soundproof panels, but certainly sound absorbing panels uh, that I've put onto the, um, onto the walls, um, basically to give us a little bit, a little bit more kind of um, sound absorbency, if you will. So it kind of stops out reflections off of the plain walls that are here. I hope tonight was uh, useful for you. If you're looking at uh, different sockets and things, you know, in your own studio, perhaps you've got uh, things that you need to wire up or you're looking for different equipment, that kind of thing. Uh, then, uh, you know, there's plenty of uh, different options out there for sockets, plugs and all that kind of thing. So make sure that you check out, you know, what you need and what equipment you have already, what kind of sockets and plugs they have on the back before you go shopping. It's always a good idea to do that um, and just make a note of the different sockets that you've got. And then you can go out and buy the real thing, you know, buy the proper thing that's, that's uh, you know, that's going to suit your needs when it comes to wiring up any kind of um, outboard equipment, if you will. Okay, so I wish you and your families the very best for the festive season and have a great Christmas and a happy new year. And I will see you on the other side. Take care.